In the world of global economics, the winds of change are blowing. Today, we're going to talk about a country that's projected to rise to the position of the world's second largest economy by 2075. Yes, we're talking about India. Let's dive into the details. India, with its population of 1.4 billion people, is set to become the world's largest. This demographic shift is expected to catalyze a dramatic expansion in the country's gross domestic product. But how can India unlock this potential? The answer lies in its labor force. India needs to boost participation within its labor force and provide training and skills for its immense pool of talent. Over the next two decades, India's dependency ratio, the ratio between its working age population and its number of children and elderly, will be one of the lowest among regional economies. This demographic dividend presents a unique opportunity for India to set up manufacturing capacities, grow services, and expand infrastructure. So, what are the main drivers of this economic growth? Goldman Sachs research points to three key factors, innovation and technology, worker productivity, and capital investment. India's progress in innovation and technology has been remarkable, and it's not just about demographics. The country is leveraging technology, to increase output for each unit of labor and capital in its economy. Capital investment is also a significant driver of growth. Favorable demographics are likely to increase India's savings rate, leading to rising incomes and deeper financial sector development. This will create a pool of capital available to drive further investment. The challenge of labor force participation is particularly acute when it comes to women. Despite making up nearly half of the population, women's labor force participation rate in India is significantly lower than men's. This is a result of a complex interplay of socio-cultural factors, lack of opportunities, and systemic barriers. However, if India can successfully address these issues and bring more women into the workforce, it could significantly boost its economic growth. India's economy is unique in its structure. Unlike many other economies in the region, which are export-dependent, India's growth has been mainly driven by domestic consumption and investments. This domestic demand-driven model has its own strengths and weaknesses. Another important aspect of India's economy is its robust services sector. The sector contributes over 50% to India's GDP and has been a key driver of the country's economic growth. India's services sector includes IT services, telecommunications, banking, healthcare, and more. The country's prowess in IT services is globally recognized, and it is also emerging as a hub for high-quality healthcare services. One of the challenges India faces is its dependence on imported commodities. India's dependence on imported commodities is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it exposes the economy to global price fluctuations, creating potential macroeconomic imbalances. On the other hand, it also presents an opportunity for India to diversify its economy and reduce its dependence on imports. For instance, India has been making concerted efforts to boost its domestic manufacturing sector, under initiatives like Make in India. India's Energy Revolution India's green energy ambitions are not just about meeting its energy needs. They are also about positioning the country as a global leader in sustainable development. India is home to the International Solar Alliance, an initiative that aims to promote solar energy globally. The country is also investing heavily in renewable energy infrastructure, including solar parks, wind farms, and hydroelectric projects. These initiatives are not just good for the planet, they also create jobs, stimulate economic growth, and can potentially turn India into a global clean energy powerhouse. In conclusion, India's journey to becoming the world's second-largest economy is a fascinating story of demographic dividends, economic reforms, and green energy ambitions. It's a story that we'll be watching closely in the coming decades. Stay tuned for more insights on India geopolitics, economy and defense-related analysis.